Hello, welcome to Titan Talk, Episode 7. I'm Patrick McCormack. Today I'm joined by the Holy Tr Trinity Varsity softball team, led by head coach and math teacher Megan Butterworth, assistant coach and director of admissions Jackie Lombardi, and seniors Destiny Arvalo, Erin Gleason, and Angelina Pier Giovanni. Thank you guys for coming on. Thanks for having Thank us. You. We'll start with the coaches. Uh, Megan, what, what have these three seniors meant to the program? I know you've been with them a short time, but I'm sure you've seen their example in the beginning of practice and being with them in the off season as well. Yeah, absolutely. We started open gyms um, early on in the year. And I know from Coach Jackie, I mean, these three girls' names were the ones that I knew before even meeting them just because of their leadership. And, you know, we were excited to have these three close seniors um, from the first first practice, first workout, they were leading, you know, leading us in workouts and leading in stretches and just leading by example. So, you know, I had expected really great things from them and I was excited to work with them for this, for their last season. And Jackie? I mean, they've meant a lot to the program. So I've been at Holy Trinity for about four years. Um, so I've actually had the privilege of watching these girls go through the program from start to finish. Um, and it's been really great for me to watch them, you know, kind of mature, obviously as softball players, but also as young ladies and, and how proud we are to kind of see them grow and represent the school um, in a really great way. Um, yeah, it's, it's funny to think about them as, as freshmen and now, you know, about a month away from, from graduating, it doesn't seem like that long ago, but uh, it's been a nice, nice couple of years and uh, we're very proud of each of them. Now, going over to student athletes, you guys started practice and then you were told the season has been postponed for a little bit. Hopefully, you can get the season going. What was that news like? And we'll start with Angelina for that one. Um, the news was very hard just because I've been with these girls for four years and I wanted to end it with them. And knowing that in March, it could have been like our last time seeing each other, it like hit hard. Erin? Um, yeah, it was very upsetting. I found out when I was in class, actually, and... I just, I was speechless. I didn't want it to end, but I think all, I could speak for all three of us to say that we've been waiting for this senior season for a while now, so it's sad. And Destiny? Yeah, it was very, like, heartbreaking, because I know after when we found out the news, we were all together, and, like, kind of crying together, but I know, like, I just wanted to step on the field again as my senior year, so. What were some things you guys were looking forward to this season? Erin, we'll start with you for this one. Um, well, I've been looking forward for the senior game since my freshman year. I've made a poster for a senior every single year, and I don't know, I was just, I was always so excited. Every senior game, when I wasn't a senior, I would just be like, oh my God, like I can't wait for mine, but you know, so that's probably what I was looking forward to the most. Destiny? Um, I was looking forward to stepping on the field for the first game and the last game, and of course, playing with these girls one last time, so. And Angelina? I was excited for the senior game. I was excited for our first and last game, but I was more excited to see like what memories we had during our last season. Even though we were like saying goodbye to each other, I knew it was going to be like the best one. And then going to the coaches, Megan, you're getting ready to coach your first game. What was it? What are some things you're looking forward to coaching the Titans? Um, I was just getting I mean, looking forward to getting to know the girls, you know, as far as softball, but also their personalities. Um, because I could just tell walking in there that they were a close group of girls that, you know, would put 100% in with this actual softball, but also were just really good people, hardworking in the classroom and on the softball field. So I was excited to watch them grow, you know, in the game of softball, but also to develop a, a really great relationship and also make memories, as Angelina said. And Jackie, what were some things you're looking forward to this softball season? Um, well, again, you know, I've watched these girls for the last four years, so I was really looking forward to seeing them be leaders on the field. And, you know, during preseason and open gyms, you could really tell that they wanted to be those leaders. You know, they wanted to step on the field with their team. Um, they wanted to go out there, play hard. They knew it was their last season, so they were going to do what they had to do to make it a successful one. Um, and each of them really did step up in their own way leading up to this spring. So um, I personally was really looking forward to watching them step into that leadership role. And moving away for softball for a little bit, uh, the student athletes and the coaches had to adjust to working from home, doing schoolwork at home. How was the adjustment to doing classes 
at home and schoolwork at home been for well, start the student athletes in Destiny. How has that been? It was definitely difficult at first. Um, I'd, I'd much rather be in the classroom, but the teachers are big, big help. Um, whenever I need help, I can email them and they'll email me right back. Um, but now it's very manageable. So, Erin? Um, yeah, nothing can replace being in the classroom and just learning like face to face with the teacher, but it's it's going fine. There's never been a struggle. Again, I've been emailing my teachers, like Destiny said, and they've been getting back to me, so it's fine. And Angelina? In the beginning, it was tough because we were all new to this, being away from the teachers and not being face-to-face, and I feel like being face-to-face is better, but doing the Zoom classes is helpful because your teacher is talking to you, like, face-to-face, and you're learning more things, and emailing is very important, which is better. And Megan, what's it like teaching on the virtual platform? So definitely, as uh, Destiny said, it was a little nerve wracking at first. Um, I don't know if the students know this, but we always meet as a department and kind of discuss how the week went. So all the math teachers would come on to Zoom like we are now. And we would just, we were all very nervous not having done anything like this before, um, trying to make sure that we can really reach every single student because most of us have over a hundred uh, you know, young ladies and gentlemen to work with. So we were nervous in the beginning, um, but now it's kind of just very routine and we have our schedule set. And I find that uh, the students are doing a really great job of being in contact with us. And, you know, they're working as hard as they can in whatever situation they're in right now. So it's been pretty good. And Jackie, how have things been on the admissions side? Uh, it's a little different, um, as is everything right now. You know, the, the best part of my job was always being able to meet prospective families when they were looking at Holy Trinity, you know, be able to bring them to campus, um, have them come into shadow, meet our kids, because really our kids are the reason why other people want to join our school community is just because they want to be a part of our little family. Um, so that's been hard, um, you know, but we're moving to virtual stuff too, trying to do virtual tours and information sessions. Um, so we're adjusting also, um, you know, so everything is a little bit different than it has been. Jackie, you also run the school's social media and you mentioned that Holy Trinity family and getting to know the people and getting involved in that community. Doing all the social media, what does it say about the community, all the first responders the community has and the current students doing great things to stay positive during this tough time? Yeah, you know, you always hear about what the kids do after they graduate and go out into the workforce. Um, And and a situation like this, just to see how many frontline workers we do have um, and how proud they are to be doing their job and how much they really credit Holy Trinity to figuring out what they wanted to be after they left us. Um, It's been really inspiring for me. And we've been getting a lot of good feedback um, on a lot of the social media platforms Um, and a lot of good feedback from the people who are on the front lines, kind of thanking us for putting them out into the forefront for our community to be able to see. And now back to student athletes. What are some things you guys have been doing during your free time? And we'll start with Erin. Well, I've been definitely sleeping a lot, sleeping in. Um, But I also try to keep active. I go in my basement and do like YouTube workouts. And then me and my friends are like in a running competition right now. So I've been running a little bit. And yeah, just to stay in shape and stuff. Very nice, Angelina. Um, Every other day I go for a three mile run. And then the days I don't go for a run, I just do workouts at home, like weights and agilities and some uh, softball agilities. Very nice, and Destiny. Um, I've been spending a lot of time with my family and um, especially my sister, we go outside a lot and we just like either hit or like catch some. Being seniors and being examples of the underclassmen, what advice would you give underclassmen going through the Holy Trinity softball program? And we'll start with Angelina. Some advice I would give them is just take every minute and like think of it as your last because you never know like with us, like this could be our last time playing. These it could be like our last memories. Like they should know like every minute counts. Destiny? Don't take it for granted. Like it was just knowing that it might be my last game, um, it goes by really quick, so. And Aaron. Yeah, like what they both said, don't take it for granted. It goes by really, really fast, like faster than you would ever realize. And obviously we didn't know, like, if the season, we don't know what the season's going to be like anymore, but who knew that last season would have been our last game? We didn't know that, so don't take it for granted. 
And do you guys have a favorite moment playing at Trinity? It could be playing at Trinity or something that happened in the class or in a club or after school. And we'll start with the favorite moment question for Destiny. Yeah, I think my favorite moment would be playing with these girls, obviously, because they were just my best friends on the field. And another moment I would take in was all the opportunities I got from Trinity. So like from being Shadow Ambassador, Core Ambassador, and AHA member, like I learned like a lot from that. So I took that in. Angelina? My favorite memory was being on the field with these girls because they taught me a lot, especially, and the coaches. And um, another one was just like going to school, getting to see all my friends. And like after school, we would like hang out in the parking lot as seniors blast music and just have fun <laughs> and Aaron yeah pretty much everything that they said just being on the field with them too and just making every moment last but one one memory that I'll always remember is freshman year beating St. Anthony's that was a really nice moment <laughs> yeah I'd like to thank Angelina Aaron and Destiny along with coach Megan and Jackie for coming on Titan Talk we'll see you next time thanks for coming on thank, thank you. you thank you yeah.